morning, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the New York Arena in Midtown Manhattan for our main event. Scheduled for 12 rounds of heavyweight action. Great atmosphere here tonight. You talk to everybody ringside, and they expect this one to be a barn burner. The Lions making his way to the ring now, and he looks very focused for this fight. Canes approaching the ring now and this ring walk can tell you so much look at the focus on his face Dressing room. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch them up. Here we go, Buck. Smart. 36 Smart. minutes still ahead of them here. Round one of 12. <clears throat> Not able to land the uppercut. Stay away good exchange. He fires back. <clears throat> able to get rid of that one. Hits him in the mug with the right. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. He scored well after being hit himself. Good block by Hurricane. Hurricane's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. Not much action as he just ties up. Good defensive skill. Work the fight. Lion's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. 90 seconds to go here in this round. The Lions' defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Comes back with an overhand right. We're seeing a lot of work to the body here early on by him. Teddy, is that a certain mentality, these guys that commit to being a body puncher? Yeah, because they understand that the body punching, you know, that's not something that's glorious. That's not something that, you know, like a great left hook on the chin, bang, it gets results right away. They understand that that's something that pays off later and something you got to start early and stay with. The Lions able to land a good, solid left hand. well up top last 10 seconds of this first round yeah, overhand right can be so effective 
you can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he's doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I notice is his back's not leaning against the corner pad. You know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happened to him. You know, he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's positive. You know that he had a good round. Here we go. Round two is underway. The Lions just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Keep pushing. You see him holding on. Good block by Hurricane. And he just holds on there. Jump on him, jump on him right now. And he engages in the clinch. Blocks that belt line well. You see, he comes over the top with that right hand. A real solid shot. Teddy, I don't think... Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Boy, he was hurt, but now he's gathered himself a bit. Back to the body. Nice work. The left hand to the head. You know, when we sat with these guys yesterday in preparation for this broadcast, we asked them, all right, what's your favorite punch? They both had the same response. We like them all. Oh, that's a smart fighter, because you want to be as versatile, as rounded as possible. Lion's right hand scores well that time. Let it go. Let it go. Very okay. nice okay. work from both go. men. Let they each go. got a shot in. Oh, what a whiff by Hurricane. We count down the final moments of this round. Excellent hook to the head by the Lion. Nice combination, landing more than one. Both were able to score. Stay away from that power hand, okay? Keep circling away from that power hand. I need you to keep moving side to side, all right? Just keep moving. Don't let him get that power shot. Now listen, you need to keep moving out there. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep that jab pumping, then throw the lead right hand. You're winning this fight hands down, baby. So a fresh round is underway, but is it a fresh fighter? <laughs> Hurricane's corner is hoping so. Based on what we saw at the end of the last round, who knows? Well, his corner should also be hoping that his opponent across the way doesn't come out here like the executioner to get this over with because if he does i think it's over looking good baby you're looking real good he tried to nab him up top but was unable to connect hurricane's getting himself into the mix now landing that left hand yeah you got this you got this one, baby <laughs> He's 
tied. Yeah, champ, he's tied. Look at him. Oh, what a hook upstairs. Hurricane still feeling the effects of the damage that he took earlier. He is clinching more and more as this fight goes on. Now he's got to be a little worried that the referee's not going to tolerate it. Maybe give him a warning and start taking points away. So he's going to have to find a way to kill some time, get himself better, but start creating some offense too. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round, Hurricane's fatigue is starting to play a major factor in this fight now. He is having trouble landing any of these punches. Yeah, and it's not because his opponent all of a sudden is a great defensive whiz. You know, he's not Claude Waynes. He didn't all of a sudden become the invisible man. It's just that he's not landing because he's thrown him from too far away, as you said, very tired. to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Watch the hook. Watch Off the to hook. the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. The Lions done a good job there, offensively scoring with that left hand. A little head hunting with the right. That's it. That's it, baby. Now relax for me. Relax. Just like that. Another round like that. He doesn't like those body shots. He doesn't like that kid, all right? All right, now keep working the body. Thanks, Daddy. All right, deep breath now. Deep breath. Just relax. Relax. Are you all right? I need you to keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Don't worry now, all right? I just... I need you to focus. Keep your hands up. Teddy, we look at your scorecard here at the beginning of round four. He's up three to zip, but it may be a moot point. He's put his man down on the canvas in complete control of this fight. Yeah, he's hurt him several times. He's shown power, and his opponent has shown no ability to change jump on, things. Jump on him right now. Hurricane's trying to get back to where he was here in this round. He was knocked down in the last round. Now, Teddy, when you're the opponent, and you knock the guy down. Double Those up, opening punches. few up, moments on, of the next up, round, do you try to size up and kind of take it? And a shooting right hand by the Lion. Halfway through round number four. Left and right, left and right. There's that overhand right. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Little head hunting with the left. He snaps a jab. Big uppercut right on the mark. 
is. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Once again, he goes down. Can he survive this? opponent a knockout victory that's what you want to see a guy who can close the show and finish with style he ends up a knockout victor tonight and that's what his trainer wanted. His trainer was even telling him, step it up a little bit because he knew this was possible, and they got it. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great evening.